Rachel, hi Jesse. Would you say combined surgery is dangerous considered how long you are under anaesthetic? Ooh. Um well, you know, don't want to be too um what's the word? Like um creating an alarm sort of thing um by using terms dangerous but um you know since you've used the term dangerous um i mean it is more dangerous than having a you know a longer anesthetic is more dangerous than a short anesthetic but having said that anesthetics are very safe these days and when you talk to anesthetists it's a bit like um airline uh, an airplane the, the the danger of an aeroplane is when you take is take off and landing that's the sort of danger time for an aeroplane and the sort of cruising bit in the middle is is less dangerous and it's sort of similar for an anesthetic the danger time for an anesthetic is the sort of induction and the sort of you know um, of recovery so it's it's not proportionately um dangerous if you see what i mean so you could argue I, that having if you're going to have like i don't know a breast lift and a tummy tuck say it is safer to have it in one op you know than having two general anesthetics because you've even got two inductions and recoveries two lots as opposed to one um so but you know it is but it but a longer anesthetic is you know it is more dangerous you have more anesthetic um uh um in you for that time so the recovery you can feel more jaded you feel knocked back it is a big thing having a combined surgery and you have to talk to patients about again the pros and cons of having it combined or having it separate so there are pros of having it combined one lot of recovery it's cheaper because you just have one operating theater one set is opened you know and you can use the same instruments and stuff you know, if you have a second operation, you have to open it all again. So the costs are there's cost savings with having it as a combined procedure. And I think a lot of people don't want to have time off work and things like that. So they want to have one lot of time off work. They want to get their recovery over with. You know, you could get complications with but with either areas. In, you know, because you've got two areas being operated on, but they're both recovering at the same time, like like in in uh, in parallel. Yeah, rather than series, you know, they're both covering at the same time. So if you got a bit of wounding in there and a bit of wounding in there, you sort of like, you know, it's 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 just getting it all done in in one go rather than getting one done and then three to six months later having the other one done. But it's it's difficult. I mean, I think um, it's difficult to know whether it's it's what's right for you. So if you're purely saying, is it more dangerous having a longer operation than a shorter one then yes it is but if you're going to need that length of time in theater anyway so if you're going to have a breast lift and a tummy tuck so you know three hours now and then three hours in six months it might be better having six hours now if that makes sense so um so yeah so nothing simple, Rachel, nothing simple. You want a simple answer? You ain't getting it here. All right. It's not simple. But yeah, is that I hope that's um, not trying to dodge it. But, you know, you've got to think about pros and cons. That's what we're all about. That's what the clinic. That's what the consultation is all about, really. All surgeries, pros and cons. And it's like, look, these are the cons. There's all cons of surgery. But there's also pros. And if the cons are too much, we don't have it.